Activated PI3K Delta Syndrome, or APDS, is a rare primary immunodeficiency occurring when there's an abnormal change in either the PIK3CD or PIK3R1 genes, producing an overactive PI3K Delta pathway. Normally, these genes code two proteins that come together to form PI3K delta. PI3K delta then acts in a pathway which helps white blood cells mature and divide with specialized roles. But here, the hyperactive pathway affects the process of the B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, and the natural killer cells, which normally fight illnesses and diseases. This results in frequent infections beginning in childhood. Over time, repeated lung infections lead to bronchiectasis, resulting in mucus buildup, persistent cough, and breathing problems, making the lungs even more prone to infection. B and T cells also abnormally rapidly divide, clump together, and enlarge the lymph nodes and spleen. They also clump in the airways and abdomen. With disease progression, patients may develop B cell lymphoma. Others may develop neurological disorders and short syndrome. It's also common in APDS for normal body cells to be mistakenly attacked as well, causing anemia or low platelet counts. Others may develop an autoimmune inflammatory disease. APDS is very diverse in symptoms and character. It can take years for a correct diagnosis, as patients are often diagnosed with other primary immunodeficiency diseases. High levels of IgM can be an indicator of APDS. Lab tests like flow cytometry also show immune dysfunction leading to these clinical symptoms. Genetic testing can make a definitive diagnosis and should be performed in a patient with suspected APDS. Once diagnosed, therapies can reduce the symptoms of APDS. Lifestyle adjustments, minimizing potential exposure to community and environmental risks, and regular health checkups are required. But with clinical trials underway, we may be closer to improving the immune dysfunctions caused by genetic variations which cause APDS. To learn more, go to allaboutapds.com.